Hey there, it's Debbie Reber here, and today I'm going to tell you about my personal approach for outlining my nonfiction books. Now, I don't use any specific ideology or approach to do this. And what I do in the very beginning, though, is I, I read a lot. Um, I hope you're all reading a lot. It is so important as writers that we're always reading. And so as I read a lot of nonfiction books, I kind of really notice, in addition to soaking in the content, I pay a lot of attention to the structure of those books and how the information is, um, is organized. And, and I'll start to get ideas for whatever book I'm working on. Um, you know, I might pull different uh, organizational or structural ideas from different books I'm reading. Uh, for example, the book that I'm writing right now, it's called Doable, How to Accomplish Just About Anything. It's for teens. And I was, I was reading one of my favorite books. I was reading it for the second time called Switch by Chip and Dan Heath. And if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. Um, but I love the way that book was organized. It just made so much sense. It it had these great case studies and it summarized things really well and it built up. Uh, so I always knew where I was going and everything kind of made sense as it, as I kind of gained these new pieces of information. Um, so that was a real inspiration for me as I started figuring out the structure for my own book, Doable. So I always start there. Um, next, I move on to index cards. Index cards are writer's friend. If you don't have them, you get them. And I will start writing my key ideas down, one on each index card. And then I'll end, I might end up having 50 or 60 index cards when it's all said and done. And then I'll take each index card and I'll go sit somewhere in my favorite chair downstairs in the sun or maybe on my front porch if it's a nice day out. And then I'll start, I'll flip that index card over and I will write, you know, a bullet point brainstorm list of everything um, that I might want to say about that key point. So once I've done that for every index card, I then move to the computer and I will, I will input all of that um, and start to organize and move things around. By the time I've done that, I'll print it out. I will have a pretty detailed flow of all the content I know I want to include Sure, I may add things along the way, and I'll probably get rid of things too, but I can at least kind of see the whole big picture plan there and start to move things around as necessary. Um, and that's always where I start, and that ultimately becomes a draft, a solid draft of my outline that I can then begin writing from. Tune in tomorrow where I answer the question, should I edit while I'm writing? Until then, bye!